want to say thank you for allowing us a time to be here with you. And next week, get ready to finish the the last part of the of the five ten commandment for the fourth ten commandments that we are missing. And we will be blessed. So let's pray. Father, we thank you all for the opportunity you've given us to study your word of oh God. There's so much to learn. So much. We can just decipher one word and make a teaching from that one word, oh God. Because your word is so rich. Father, I pray that each and every, each and every one of us can come before your presence and give you a vote and say thank you, Abba, for allowing us the opportunity to study your word. Father, as we come before your presence, I pray that each and every one of us can take the time to get closer to you, to embrace you with all of our hearts, and say thank you, thank you, Abba. For those, for those who have not experienced Shabbat, we'll take the time to show the significance of the Shabbat, why it's so important. The blessings, the laying of the candles, the prayers, the reading of the, of the Psalms. So important and so rich. So, Lord, in everything you taught us, you give you praise and accolade. We need to be careful to guard, <coughs> to remember this beautiful gift that you have blessed us with. Gracious Father, I give you all the praise and all the accolades for your mercies and your prayers. <coughs> for those who are, who are new to this teaching, I pray that you will not be discouraged. Because Yeshua taught it. There is a passage in the, old, in the New Testament when the rich man tells him, what am, I, what am I supposed to do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? And the Messiah is quoting the Shema. I shall love the Lord thy God with all my heart. I shall honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. He named these commandments to, to this young man. Interesting that this young man wanted to entice the Lord into a into a, into a trap. And the Lord shortened his majesty and his strength. Help us to be good stewards and to take care of the blessing that God has blessed us with. Illuminate us with your countenance, O Holy Ghost. And Lord, to you be praise and honor and glory. And we say, Baruch we thank you for tonight, and as we say the final blessing, I would like to bless God's permission, His children, as we say, Ayira Adonai Panavelecha Vekunecha Isar Adonai Panavelecha Veyasem Lecha May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may the Lord bless you with shalom. Good night to our brothers and sisters who are watching us via Zoom. And for us who are still, we're going to do a couple of 
Because you read the Dukhaftalah and we can be dismissed.